folks, today we're over here in North Carolina at Lake Junaluska. Lake Junaluska, I think it's how you pronounce that. It's absolutely amazing here. And we wanted to share this little this little walk that we're gonna do today. It's about two and a half, three miles. Dawn, are you ready? Ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. This. goodness look at that that is definitely a photo with the mountains reflecting into the lake here and the colors lake junaluska So there's a two mile loop that goes around the lake. And then there's an optional three mile loop that goes around the lake. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do a walk around the lake. Yeah, at least the two miles. But look at that. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of beautiful cabins surrounding the lake here. I don't know much about it. I do know that this is, or this once was a, um, a religious retreat here. I don't know what branch of the church, if it was Baptist or Catholic or, or even Mormon. Maybe we'll find out as we walk around there's a great big cross across the, the lake. I want to check that out. I love some of the architecture on these these cabins. And it looks like you can rent some of these. They're, they're vacation rentals by VACSA. Yeah, lots of beautiful homes. This one here is made out of stone. And all the houses are just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful gardens. Yeah, so there's a little dock here. It says no fishing, but I guess we can come out here and stand on it. It looks safe. Oh, well, there's fish down there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some pretty good size ones at that. So it's surrounded by mountains all the way around. It was kind of hard to get in here or hard to find it because you got to kind of go over like this little ridge and then it opens up to this little cove. And this is like all inside this little cove. And uh, yeah, we figured this is a great way to do a little exercising today and gear steps in. and yeah, gear steps in and, and also show you guys this beauty. And the folks who led this on to us, uh, they're, they're right. It's amazing. 
I want to go up there and see that great big cross up there. If, if we can get to it. I don't know if we can. Plenty of wonderful spots to sit along the way. Huh. Looks like there might be a little hotel over there. A little resort. And there's somebody's boat. And then there's cabins all along this road. Now, you don't have to walk this. You could just drive around in your car, you know, as the road kind of goes around the lake also. There's a swan down there with those, those geese. So if I lived here, we'd be walking this every, every day. day. This is amazing. Two times a day. <laughs> one in the evening and probably one in the morning. Mm -hmm. Wow. Take a load of this. And that is one steep driveway. And Dawn was pointing out that there's a... It's like a cheer lift. It's a lift of some sort. I wonder what that is. I don't know. It goes right into the cabin oh, tree house looking thing. I know what it is. So these stairs, it must be a incline lift. And you come up these stairs and you, you enter it right there. And it takes you up the side. What a way to get your mail. <laughs> yeah. Or and groceries. Into the house. Yeah. You can even see the control box right there. That is neat. So these folks have their own incline railway yeah. going to their house. And the stairs that pretty much lead to nowhere. Well, no, those stairs is how you enter it to go up. Oh, oh okay. I see it now. Yeah. That is neat. Or you can take the very steep driveway. <laughs> can you imagine uh, taking groceries up? Well, I mean, you just put them on there, right? Yeah. This little guy, he likes to swim. There he goes. He's diving down to get something good to eat. And he stays down there for quite a while. We've been watching him for the last few minutes. I don't know if he's some kind of loon or... I think that's his parents in the tree. Is that his parents in the tree? Oh, where did he? Oh, there he is. He re-emerged over there. Now. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of swans out on the lake. Swans are absolutely amazing. And then there's this one swan over here by himself. Yeah. I can't get over the color reflecting into the lake. So what are you thinking about this, Dawn? Um, this is like the wall factor, just amazing, it's just gorgeous. We've been doing more stopping than walking. <laughs> There's it, a lot here. And there, just... there is. So this is the two mile marker right here. Pedestrian traffic only. And there's this great big bridge crossing over to the other side.
I love these old stairways. Kind of reminds me of Elkmont. Bushy the dog, Bushy the dog right? Yep. Wow. <laughs> so it's Bushy the dog. Yeah. He's got a little tail, right? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the, the house, too, that it's in front of. This has been an interesting walk. All the colors, the architecture in the homes. It's it's awesome. It's it's pretty cool. TL Bevins, 1918. So these homes are roughly about the era of like Elkmont and, and stuff, and it's it's got that same architecture you see. There's some Cedar Shake there. So I noticed they have some canoe rental places along the way. Uh, doesn't look like it's open. You can you could rent some canoes. And these are the prices on the rentals. We got shuffleboard, tennis racket, pickleball, cornhole. Oh, they even have a pool <laughs> that overlooks the lake. Now that's a good way of not getting something between your toes or a fish to bite you, right? Yeah. A little mini golf. Huh. And the trees are just amazing in here. Pickleball courts. That looks like a great place to sit and watch the sunset. And so we're on the other side of the lake and those are those trees that were really bright from the other side. Now we're gonna see them up close and personal. And they call this area the, the Rose Walk. So this is probably the most beautiful tree I have seen all year. And you see a little bit of the orange in the center and then take a look at that red this is definitely the reddest tree beautiful maple absolutely stunning you get that earthy smell you know that decaying leaf smell it's just it's a magnificent maple what do you think about that it's gorgeous it is these are the roses here in the Rose Walk. And uh, as you walk down, you all different types of varieties of them. You can hear him in there, he's loving it. And we're making our way towards that that cross on top of that hill there. And this house here has a, a very unique garage cut into the side of this hill here. Oh, a very unique garage, right? I love this old school drinking fountain here by the Murdoch Manufacturing Supply Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And I believe it's still in working use. 
you can hear the water. Yeah. Wow, I love it. The homes around here are beautiful. I just love the architecture. This must have been a well-off community. It still is. It's but, just gorgeous over here. But these homes that were built in 1900, you know, were just, I mean, probably pretty wild for their time. And they still are today. And that water fountain back there was a really cool, you know what I mean, uh, piece. Cincinnati, Ohio, it was made. Yeah, there's a lot of construction, a lot of leaf blowing. You just hear, and then all these homes go right up the side of the the hill here. Yeah, so that's the Trace Hotel. That'd probably be a great place to stay if you're visiting the Smokies. Now there's a couple entrances over here. Of course you had the Catalucci entrance. And you could travel over to Cherokee from here about, I'd say about no more than 45 minutes. And you could be in that entrance also. Bryson City, you know, give or take about 45 minutes also. And so they have the Harwell Center has got gifts and a coffee shop. Auditorium, meeting rooms, library. Here are some photos from over the years. Looks like they have pontoon rides. And there's the cross. So it looks like there's a little place where you can sit. We're gonna have to find that. But we're currently located right here at the hotel. Yeah, you can even get married here. Yeah, the sunsets are probably amazing. I would definitely like to come back and stay at the hotel and maybe take in a sunset and even a sunrise. Yeah, they actually have a library in here. And open from two to five. A very nice area to sit and take it all in. I well, only got some, some merch. Quite a few different teas too. We're gonna have to make our way up there and, and check that out. That's a pretty big gift shop. Had quite a quite a bit in here. So here are those ducks that we saw at Dollywood, and they're made out of old. Um, you know, poles, like old barb wire fence poles. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those at 100 year old post. We saw those at Dollywood. Oh my goodness, these are really unique. It is. And a dragonfly and a bear. And all this here is locally made. Right here. I like that cross, you see that? Very, very nice. Got a really cool coffee shop in here. They got some treats, some ice cream over there. Ooh, the smell of coffee. Yeah, you can get some North Carolina souvenirs to take home with you. Really cool gift shop in there, and they had more merchandise than a lot of like really big tourist towns. Yeah. So this bell here was presented to Lake Junaluska Assembly in 1913. And I believe this is when this community started because they just celebrated a hundred years back in 2013. This auditorium is round. Yeah, so that's the auditorium. There's a stage. Looks like they're getting ready for a performance of some sort later on. So the Honorable Chief Junaluska.
1758 to 1858. And this church here reminds me of some of the ones we've seen like in England and it's all made out of stone. Even the, the shingles there are made out of like a stone. Picture perfect, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Great time to talk a little bit about this area here. It was established in 1913 as a Methodist getaway. And uh, this was like a retreat for, for Methodists. So this here is a labyrinth. And it's the place for prayer and, and meditation. So I think a labyrinth, you can see the end, where a maze you can't. I think it's the difference between the two. Just some of the cabins. Very unique architecture. And I like that red one right there. That's really cool. And that there reminds me of some of the homes like over in Elkmont. You can see the the log cabin, of course that porch. It's got that Smoky Mountain flare. at the top, the very tippy top, at the great big cross we've been looking at as we walked around the lake, and it's, it's lit up, it's, it's got light bulbs. It must look spectacular at night. And the views are amazing from up here. Perfect place to put a, a cross. Beautiful up here. Breathtaking. Yeah, a very popular place here to get your photo taken. A one lane bridge. So this here is Malcolm. Lake Junaliska's first swan. And there's a lot of swans out here. Yeah. In honor of their of their swans. Oh wow, it's a bald eagle in flight.
looking for something good to eat down there. That house over there, I think is an old train station. Yeah, it is. Or it's made to look like it. Very cool. So that was an amazing walk around this beautiful lake tucked in western, yeah, western North Carolina. It is amazing. Um, a lot of great photo opportunities. Uh, I think they voted this as one of the most, or one of the rom romantic places. <laughs> romantic? Yeah, in North Carolina. It's beautiful here though. It is, it is. Nice day for a walk. Yep, over here near Waynesville, Waynesville, uh, North Carolina. Yeah, this is actually a dam. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in North Carolina, if you guys like this vlog, also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone.